Hi, uh, here's my method for cal calibrating uh, the offset between uh, two nozzles in X, Y, and Z. Uh, I will use this scale, uh, which takes uh, each step is 0 0.01 gram. So a slightly touch here will show uh, kind of big reading. So let's start by homing the axis this is dot wi-fi the web interface of the dot wi-fi now it's humming all the principle i'm showing here for calibrating uh, can be used in whatever printing or system so humming is done I will pick the first tool which will be our preference tool and then I will home mix and I will uh, move Z by 2 centimeters I move it down so now it's 20 millimeters so I can place the scale under the nozzle okay now I will, I will turn on the scale uh, one very important important thing is to clean your nozzles of course so you, you get the right uh, readings so now it's zero. I will move the bed closer to the nozzle by, I will start by uh, moving it each step 0.5 millimeters. So until we get reading. Okay, now I got reading. I'll go back. So, now it's not touching. 0.5. I will move now by 0.05 millimeters upwards so it touched the bed and we'll see when it now let's get a reading I click two times go back okay I now 0.05 millimeters up now it's touching so now we know that this is the this reading here. Now Z is at 19.25 millimeters. Okay. So let's take a note. 19 point 19.25. Control C. Take a note. So it is the reading now it's the first tool is touching okay so now this will be our zero uh, now I will go for Z I will go I will move it downwards five millimeters and then I will park the, the T0 then I will select the other tool, T1 and now I will do the same thing ok now it's 0, so one click 0 0.05 and now it's touching so now we see the reading of the Z we see that it's 19 Point, point 0.90 I will take this reading Ctrl C Ctrl V now so here is the difference in the Z offset and that's mainly now by the because I didn't clean the nozzles okay so you have first to clean the nozzles very uh, nicely 
so you get the right reading so let's see what's the exact difference so we can we can calculate the right uh, the exact difference 19.90 uh, minus 19.25 19.25 our uh, offset is 0 0.65 so T1 which is the other tool the right tool uh, has more distance by 0 0.65 now in the firmware whatever your firmware is uh, you will have to put this offset for Z so so the right tool will go up or down depends on your value to the exact uh, position height as the first one be aware that depending on your firmware you may need to put this value as negative not positive okay uh, so now we got we got the uh, Z offset uh, accurately. You can even go further if your firmware firmware supports uh, finer movements for Z. Like here, I have the finest move as 0.05. I can also enter more finer steps here if I want to. Uh, 0.05 seems fine, but you can go higher if you want Now uh, It's done for Z. Okay, we got the exact uh, offset for X and Y I made a little uh, Test calibration test that is very easy to use and Takes like two minutes to print you will print this file. I will. You will find the link for this one as a, as a one file uh, in the des description on Thinkverse, and it will be printed this way. Okay. If you are using Simplify 3D, I will show you how to print this thing because we need to to make this part with the left nozzle and this part also with the left nozzle. This part with the right nozzle and this part with the right nozzle okay now first just a little bit of information this is in the center line that goes from up and down here the center line is zero if I print this object and I go uh, I look at it straight and if I find like this one is aligned with this one exactly then it's perfect perfectly aligned and no need for offset but if you find that let's say this one is perfectly aligned with this one not this one so if these ones are aligned nicely or any other one you count from the center okay so here we have the center this is zero each each one of these you counted by 0 0.1 okay so this is if this one is aligned then the offset is 0 0.1 millimeter positive or negative depends on your printer okay uh, if the, the second one then 0 0.2 millimeter the offsets uh, third one 0 0.3 millimeters and so same thing for Y you count which one is aligned perfectly maybe you can take a picture of the printed object but don't remove it from the bed because you don't want it, you want you don't want to move it if uh, for example this one is aligned you count from the center like this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 0 0.5 millimeter is the offset, negative or positive. 
I'm sure you can do you can do this uh, on simplify simplify 3D. You know how to do it, but I will show you anyway. So I will import it in simplify 3D. Export. Uh, this object is only 0.2 millimeter thickness, so your first layer should be uh, nicely, uh, you know, adjusted. Now I will, I have the zero of my X and Y is here, so my end stops are here, and we want this object to be like this. So X for X and Y for Y. I will double click here and say on on Z minus ninety. like so okay so this one the the reading here is for this will show you when you count here will show you that the counting here is for x axis okay like this and this is for y but don't um, don't mistake it and don't think that this is should be because it's for X that it should be for on X actually no so this will be like this on Y but it will give reading for X okay this is very important and this is the opposite so this should be printed on X like sideways on X but it will give the reading for Y okay now in order to uh, define which to which extruder, let's just move it slightly. I can't move it with one hand. But I will try. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll do. We'll go to mesh. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Mesh, separate. Where is separate? Yeah, separate connected surfaces. And now it will be four parts, like so. So now the second one will select this with the left, the left nozzle, and this one with the left nozzle as well. Okay, so the one, the ones in the middle, are with the left nozzle. So I will go here, I will open this, you will set up your stuff here, and then select models, so like so, so this is the lift ones, okay, and we will put only extruder one, which is the lift one, and save, and then another process select models only the other ones so the right nozzle and extruder 2 only so the right tool okay now printing select both yes and active tool head will show you that these two colors are together and these two co uh, colors are together right tool left tool okay now you print it and then you look closely and see which one is perfectly aligned and you count and then you get your offset for x uh, positive or, or negative and for y positive or negative uh, so this is the accuracy of this one is 0.1 millimeter if it's not enough for you so uh, you can maybe make make one with finer steps but that was fine with me anyway if you have any comment drop me a comment and i will try my best to answer see you bye bye